Thanks, Tracy. Well, we meant to launch Melbourne's newest radio station, 3 E last week, but a technical hitch caused the delay. Well, now the problems are over. 3 E goes to air tomorrow. Andrew Bensley reporting. Over the past decade, radio listing has been through great changes. In the old days of tuning into the AM frequency, the majority of listeners now take in FM stations. So it comes as some surprise that tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, when Melbourne has the birth of a new radio station, 3 E. It's on the AM dial. 3 E is situated at 693. That's between Radio National and 3LO. It's so been built by the AWA so Media Group, which bought the old 3XY and then closed it down. After months of waiting, the station is now ready to go and in fact has been in practice for the past fortnight. As Rick Astley, cry for help at 12 to 9, 3 E 693. Station manager Paul Ramsden is holding back announcing the full format but guarantees an alternative to other music stations. The music that will be known as 3 E's music is not being played in Melbourne radio. You will know it, everybody will know what it is, it sounds terrific. With Easy Music 3MP and the Fox leading the audience share, Ramsden doesn't expect any miracles over the first 12 months of operation and knows the station is in for a long, hard battle. Our corporate goals um, and our own goals are somewhere between a sort of a 3% share, I suppose. I mean, we'd be very, very happy with that. And AWA committed to Melbourne because it's, we've done our homework and we believe that Melbourne will be one of the most exciting radio markets in the future. In these days of hard economic times, AWA has kept staff to a minimum. Only 19 people have been employed full-time, a big change from the halcyon days of radio. We are a revolution in radio broadcasting internally, there's absolutely no doubt about that. Not our competitors in format terms, but our peers are running on 50, 60 people. We're running on 19. Another important ingredient to the success of 3 E will be their football coverage, led by experienced caller Don Hyde. And welcome to the MCG and the 3 E Big Call. After describing footy action for 30 years, Hyde believes he has put together a commentary team any audience will like. This Saturday, Hyde will join with another well-known caller, Ian Major, and former Footscray full forward Simon Beasley to call the action from the big Essendon St Kilda clash. The appearance of Double E in football will undoubtedly be a great help to many fans who have been unable to tune into games because of the lack of coverage. Only 3AW and the ABC's 3LO have been covering Melbourne's favourite game. Very authoritative, very credible and I think very listenable. 693 and 3 E Andrew is football.